Yeah, I think it's quite exciting news that uh, Prime Producers SA uh, are joining NFF. Uh, we haven't been there for a while. Uh, South Australia hasn't been around the table. So uh, to have South Australia direct representation at the NFF really gives us more of a say on the, uh, on the national level uh, where there's some very important issues. So uh, we're pretty happy to be back and looking forward to the benefits that can bring South Australian farmers. I think it gives us a lot more direct sort of say in, uh, uh, in trade, for instance, but also some of the issues that sit around uh, uh, visas and immigration. Uh, we've got some real challenges in regional areas of South Australia now with getting workforce. Uh, I think that we do need a stronger voice with Canberra about that particular issue, but uh, there's a whole range of issues and we look forward to having our say. Excited to get the advice today from Primary Producer South Australia that they'll be coming back into the National Farmers Federation. Uh, it'll allow us to uh, talk more closely and more directly with farmers in South Australia about the key issues that are important to them and, and help us advocate them uh, at a national level. We get uh, to broaden our representation. We're a national organisation. Um, there has been a little bit of a gap in the uh, state of South Australia in terms of uh, direct representation and, and contact with farmers in this state. So we're delighted and excited that you know, we're going to have primary producers South Australia back at the NFF table. It'll enable us to work more closely with them and to advocate to government um, and, and really trying to get some good outcomes for farmers in this state but across the, across the country. And the issues that we work on are, are important to South Australian farmers as well. So, you know, land use, um, mining, uh, uh, natural resource management, uh, trade, infrastructure, NRM, uh, all of these issues, biosecurity, all of the issues that we advocate at a national level will benefit from having a greater, stronger, more united uh, voice from South Australia. So it's, it's a win-win situation for uh, primary producers South Australia and also for the NFF. So great things. Obviously, I mean, we've got a lot of state issues and, um, and we've got linkages into Grain Producers Australia for our grains national issues, but things like transport, market access, fair, you know, trade agreements and, and federal taxation, I think that's where we're going to see a lot of value out of joining NFF. They run some, you know, they've run some fantastic national campaigns for making sure agricultural issues are, are right in front of the fold in terms of federal politicians' minds. If you look at the backpack attacks, I think the NFF run a fantastic campaign there. So we are now going to be a part of that and make sure that it's got also South Australia is around the table. We're at the end of our fourth year, this is our fourth um, AGM. I think our organisations have matured uh, and the next step for us as organisations is to become part of the national scene again. So it's just a step, step forward. Um, there are issues, national issues, that we can't influence and if, if we're not around the table. And some of those issues are trade, um, taxation has been uh, mentioned, and look, backpacker tax, that's a huge thing for us in South Australia. Um, we, we've got a lot of people in remote areas, they find it very difficult to get labour, and so we're, um, we want to be around that table to discuss and debate those issues.